Team, welcome to the basics. I'm out here at the 400 yard line at this new range I built, as promised. Please ignore the schmog. I'm not doing it to be cool, but there's gnats buzzing around my head, and so this is sort of making it bearable. We're gonna shoot at 400, 500, and 600 with the SPR. Night Force NX8 1-8, to Silencer Co. Omega, Geissele SSAE Trigger, BCM 18-inch Stainless Steel Upper. The ammo we're gonna shoot primarily at 400 is just, let's see, 55 grain American Eagle stuff. It's really cheap, and I found that even at 400 yards, you can get you can get one to two MOA hits with this ammo. We'll just say two. Two, two MOA hits pretty safe with this ammo. If I got some Hornady black and some regular Hornady match grade 75 grain stuff. So let's get after it. All right, 400 yards, take one. We're gonna hold five MOA elevation, nothing for wind. All right, that was just high left. Bring it down to four MOA. Couldn't see it. We're gonna go ahead and just dial. I don't know if I'm hitting it. Think not. All right, there's a hit. Let's go down to three. All right, so windage is looking okay. All right, we're getting on. It's kind of hard to see my splash, and honestly, that's because of the reticle. And I was sort of wondering if that was gonna be an issue, and I think it might be. All right, we're gonna send a few more. I reviewed the footage, and I was definitely high. You guys probably saw it. The donut around the center reticle makes this really hard to spot. It's very cluttered, which is something I was worried about, but uh, I'm gonna do holdovers now. Yeah, even with that, I mean, that's tough. We'll see, though. Send a few. Yeah, buddy. I mean, you can see, like, even with that regular standard American Eagle 55 grain stuff, I'm holding a pretty good group. Like, the first four or five I shot all landed within a few inches of each other. So, really pre pleased with the ammo. Let's back it up onto 500 yards. Okay, team. We're going to hold seven MOA. And we're just going to do holdovers. And we're not going to do anything for wind. We'll see where that gets us. Okay, elevation looked good, just left. <sighs> left again. Hit. 
holding about two MOA. Hit. Can't see those. Hit. 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 Getting it done, guys. We'll send a few more. I think the target cam got knocked off a little bit. That was high. That was high. Very strange. Hit. Hit. All right, guys, we're still shooting regular 55 grains out of this thing. We're not even doing match grade yet. That's a nine by 12 piece of steel. So it's about two MOA. Let's see if I can get a couple more. Hit. 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 All right, sick. That's what we want to see, guys. Yes, sir. All right, 600 yards. Hit. So I was aiming 10 mm away high and at least one or two mm away right. Hit. 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 Ooh, just right. Wind's picking up. That one's low. Hit. That one was way left. Hit. I'm sure about that last one. I put in some Hornady Black 75 grain boat tail hollow point. I'm assuming this is like their affordable match grade ammo or whatever. <laughs> Couldn't hear it.
Hit. That was 10. Hit. Just a little right. Hit. 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 All right, last 10 shots. That one was way left. Just right. Hit. Low right or low left. Just low. Hit, that was 11 MOA. Hit, aiming just off the right edge. Hit. Nice, got the last few shots. All right guys, quick recap. We just finished shooting with uh, four to 600 yards with the SPR, um, had a ton of fun today. I was able to get hits from four to 600 with 55 grains. And then at the end at 600, I was able to connect um, with some 75 grain boat tail hollow point Hornady black ammo, which I've, that's the first time that I was able to shoot it. And it shot pretty flat, I thought. I was holding about the same as I was for the 55 grainers, um, which is interesting because the other 75 grain match that I've shot with Hornady is usually a few MOA lower than that. But anyways, SPR is still shooting great. NX8, I'll have to talk more about this in general. I was, I didn't like it at the 400 yard line because I was sh using the center cluster to aim. And because of that big donut, it was kind of distracting. It was just hard to see my misses on the berm. So. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to do another review on this kind of when I get my thoughts together, but the rifle is still shooting great. Silencer Co. Omega. Um, I had my left earbud out the whole time so I could hear hits. I cut my right one in, but uh, 18 inch SPR, AR-15 shooting 223. This thing keeps it pretty quiet. So really like it. Um, I'd like to have more time to do a test to see if it affects accuracy that much to, to notice, but every time I've used it to shoot long range, it's done really well for me. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. I hope to make it out here a few more times this fall and, um, hopefully I'll come out with some more people so I can get better, uh, spotting video for you guys, but stay tuned. We're going to be putting out more reviews and just general shooting videos. And then as well as the second amendment podcast, uh, and the straight shooters podcast, I should say, and then the flock tactical instructional videos. So thanks for watching guys.